Hello and welcome to this new video. It is part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link in the description below. In our last video, we saw how to send data to the IoT platform ThinkSpeak. In this video, we will see how to get data from uh, the same uh, platform. In the next videos, you will see how to control objects over the internet using the, this uh, way. The first thing is to download the ThinkSpeak library from the site. You will find it under the resources category. Now let's go to the site ThinkSpeak. You should have an account and I have already one. This is my channel. It contains for now two values. Here I will copy the link to add the new values from the browser. Just change the last value by the number that you want to send to ThinkSpeak. Now I will verify. Here the value was added. Here one more example. Now we are ready to program. So go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP8266. Make a zoom of 90% to view all of the blocks. Now I will connect to the network. You can use a template of a client, change the parameter of your network. These blocks will allow us to get data from a ThinkSpeak. The difference is the privacy. The first get data from a private channel and the second from a public one. In our case, I will use the private one. Here you need the ID of the channel. You need also the key. You should choose uh, the read API key. Now I will display this value on the serial monitor every 15 seconds. Because I'm using a free service, I can send a request only every 15 seconds. Now we are ready to upload the program and see the result. I will open the serial monitor. Here I'm receiving already the last value of my field. I will try to modify it and then check it uh, again. And uh, it's working. And here we are. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.